baseball coming up. The Yankees at home. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball Sunday afternoon. Great afternoon for being in a game. Yankee Stadium, a nice afternoon out. Now the Yankees starting pitcher. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? A good looking lefty on the mound right here against the lineup that can put some runs up on the board. So pretty even matchup. So it's going to come down to which side executes better than the other. Oftentimes we say good pitching can beat good hitting. Right now we've got a moment. Let's take a look at the lineup for the White Sox. Of some kind of offense right here. Star-studded lineup and really great length and depth with guys that really can put the ball in play. And Louis Aparicio to bat. He'll be leading off the game. First pitch coming up. Shortstop, number 11, Luis Aparicio. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And the leadoff fan of this ball game's on board. See if they get it started early. And the Yankees in the field. Here's a look at their defense. The defense going to be critical in this game. They're going to have to make the routine play and some of the spectacular plays as well against this very difficult lineup. And Fox will settle in now. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air to center field. That's one away. Good pitch right there. Got the hitter a little bit out on his front foot. Easy fly ball to center field. Number three hitter up. It was such a strange season for the White Sox last year. There were nine games under 500 at home, but on the road. 43 and 38. Usually you look for the numbers to be the other way around. Runner at first with one down. Here's the delivery. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. Oh. We often talk about teams being built for their home yard. What Steve was talking about, the White Sox struggles at home. Maybe that needs to be corrected, John. That's something they will have to correct, and you can be sure of that. You can't have a team that doesn't play to the strengths of its own ballpark. At the belt, the 1-0. Hit in the air to left center. Two retired here. Now the center fielder has a good angle to run this one down. He calls off the left fielder. Great catch. It's going to be Jackson now. He goes for a second. Right one. He is safe at second base. The throw too late right there. He's able to steal second base sliding into the bag. That's something he's going to try again if he can get that kind of a jump. You know, here in the replay, he didn't have that much of a leadoff either. Right That's two. over as well, and it's quickly nothing in two. He gets two quick strikes on the hitter, but he can't be too selective now. He's got to go right at him. Ball. Oh, my. Is he wild right now? That could be trouble. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. Oh. Hit foul by Jackson. Fastball called. Strike three in the side is retired. They get a man to third, but can't bring him home. And the Yankees getting ready to start this one off. We'll take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. And Steve, what's he got in his mind now as he pitches against these Yankees? Well, it's South Paul on the mound today, and this one is going to have to be on top of his game. And when he's on, He's usually pretty darn good, but this is a quality lineup he's facing, which means he's going to have to really execute his pitches to get out of jail. 
He sends this one in the air towards center. That's one away. Here's the uh, lineup in the books for Joe Girardi. A really a fun offense to watch because they're always seemingly in motion. Guys are moving. Guys are running, taking the extra base. They go in hard, breaking up double plays. Speed, the name of the game. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. A, a solid defensive team right here, especially within this division. They're the fast, the fewest number of errors committed of anybody in the division. And it really does separate them defensively from all the other clubs. Swing and a shot down the left field line. And then it's in there for the Yankees, their first. You talk about a happy guy right there. So is his manager. Getting there to second base. Two outs to work with now for his offense. Let's see if his teammates can bring him in. Mantle in the box now. In his seventh season. Guys, the Yankees' last five trips to the postseason, they've met a Central Division opponent in the first round every time. Obviously, last year, they matched oh, up with the Tigers team that beat up on them. Here's the pitch. There's a swag and a high drive down the left field line. You're not going to see that one again. Oh, and the Yankees are on the board. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. And Yogi Berra in the box. The series the Yankees have had against the Central Division team's not good. Detroit beat him 06, Cleveland 07, and of course John Detroit again last year. Yeah, but the Yankees have had plenty of success against the Central Division in the regular season, though, over those few years. It was the same story in two. Back up the middle. Wow, that was close. Right back up the middle. Almost got it. And a good throw gets him two down. Number 14. In the box now, number five spot. Pops this one foul off to the left. Here it comes. That's that breaker through on the second pitch to him. Strike two. Well, he struggles against the curveball, two strikes, so don't be surprised if that's what he sees in this situation. Now a swing and a ball hit high and deep, way back there at the warning track. And goodbye, home run, and the Yankees have extended the lead. And another solo home run, extending the lead now to three. You know, Gary, they're not bunching them together, but that is the second home run they hit off him in this game. He may be taking a look at his sequence of pitchers right now. Well, they're going to have to get it together with pitcher and catcher. Well, Yankees continuing to score here, Gary. Credit the offensive charge. Swing and lined up the middle. 
And another. Wow, that hitting coach is smiling. But there's no reason in the world for any hitter to want to swing at that pitch. A pitch down out of the strike zone. Never had a chance at all to be a strike. But that's why we're up here talking about it. And he's down there doing it. He can get his bat on that ball to get a hit. Hit in the air. This one's going well into the stands. Off to the right. Oh! Pitch on the way. The oh, one delivery curve. Swung on and miss. 0 oh, and 2. At 0 2, you're in complete control right now. So I'm throwing him something out of the strike zone to see if I can get him to chase. You're Got out. him. And they're able to avert any more damage. Side retired. They got a nice head start right there. The offense early. The Yankees are on top. Three to nothing. The five, six, seven hitters coming up. And their catcher at the plate. Number 26. Throws that curveball a little low, ball one. Pitchers that have a curveball like this guy have great success at the major league level because you don't have to throw it for a strike. As long as you're ahead in the count, it's a pitch that the hitter will chase out of the zone. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. That one gets through for a base hit. Coming to back. But well, a great job right, right there by the first hitter right in this field. inning to get on base. And you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. Right fielder up. Here's the delivery. Line shot into center field. And it's through. That's a base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, all pitchers are taught to keep the ball down in the strike zone. Not too many hitters can go down and get one right there in that particular spot. But this guy absolutely loves that pitch. That's why he's on base. And Phillips is in the box. Well, he catches a little bit of a break here in a jam with runners on base. But a guy who not typically is a very good hitter in this situation. Oh! Fastball taken high. 1-0. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. There's a swing and a liner. And that'll put Phillips on first. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Center fielder, number one. Well, not many hitters have a lot of success with that pitch down and away. And this guy is absolutely no exception to the rule. But he dropped the head of the bat on it, and they didn't do too much, and drove that ball for a base hit. Bases are loaded and nobody out. First pitch, fastball, 0-1. When you can spot your four-seam fastball to the outside corner, the hitter has to have balance at the plate and not pull off the ball. On the way. And he swings and hits this one foul. The pitch. Tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. a big first out of this inning. Now let's see if he can come back and get out of this thing unscathed. And their pitcher at the plate now. Boy, he needs to get this out here. You do not want to give up that big hit to the opposing pitcher, especially with that top of the order waiting.
Ground ball to short. And he's got it. Gets one at second. And a double play. They got them both. They pick up three hits in the inning. They leave the sacks full. The Yankees still out in front. And here we've got Coleman to hit. Well, the types of pitches have been put in play here today. There's a quick breakdown of exactly that. Well, that slider of his has been hit twice already. And that pitch is the only pitch that anybody has hit here. But, hey, we're only in the second inning, so he's going to need to be at least aware that this lineup may be keying in on something or he might be tipping that pitch. That's a foul ball. He delivers. Fouled off. Foul! This one tapped in front of the plate. And Jackson fields the ball. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He normally not called him on play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. Ford will take his turn at the plate. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. The catch is made. New York third baseman. Number 34. Up now their rookie third baseman. Blew out last time. First pitch to him. A swing line to left center. That should be a base hit. With two quick outs in the inning, we think maybe this is one of those quick innings and the other team gets in and they get some momentum. But it keeps ending alive with that base hit. Bauer at the plate. He doubled and scored in his last trip to the plate. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Third ball just misses. One and all. Right. Fastball swung on. Couldn't connect. One and one. Well, that's just one of those the pitcher says, here it comes. Try to hit it. Fastball hitter. He wanted that pitch. He just didn't quite come up with the swing. Towards center field. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. The opportunity for offense is right now. Well, the bottom line is that he's on base. But I tell you what, he's going to struggle mightily if he continues to swing at that pitch down in the zone, almost in the dirt. Mandel, settle again. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Two men on and two men out. First pitch on the way. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. And he will score from second base. And with that right-hander warming up in the bullpen here, I'm not sure quite what they're thinking. Well, with the left-handed hitter on deck, he's probably getting ready for hitters later in the lineup. Well, a great piece of work right there to get that double and put himself in scoring position. He got a fastball and took a good rip at it. Nice, short, compact swing. They're up, up of the plate. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Boy, so many quality at bats for this offense. The pitcher has to make a pitch here and slam this door shut or this could get away from him. Hard right, ground and a short. Up Aricio. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this happening. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. Yankees with some breathing room, up by four. Wait for the 
Chicago. Always a great place for baseball. Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. And it's sunny all around today. And Louis Aparicio to bat. Had a base hit his last time up. First pitch on the way. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Able to make a grab on that one. One out. So they almost got bird there. They played the percentages shifting the outfield to the left. He hit it to right, but they were able to regroup and run it down. And Fox will settle in now. He flew out his last time up. And here's the first one. Swung on, that is hit. Oh, and he caught it. What a play. A shot right back at him. Pitchers are taught once they release the ball, they become a fielder. He was in good position right there to be able to make the play and help himself. In the box again, their left fielder. 0 for 1 thus far. And starts him out here. Can't wait long enough for that one, and he starts out with a strike. Well, you know in this situation right here that the hitter's always going to look for a fastball. The pitcher the smart, though he threw in that slider, got the hitter out in front to swing early. Here's the pitch. Swing and a rocket towards short. And now with two down, the they've got a man on board. First base. Nice piece of hitting right Four. there. He manages to drive that high 0-1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch right It sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0-2. He was going to wail. Uh, he was aggressive, no question about it. Got a pitch he could handle and took advantage. It's going to be Jackson now. Took a call, third strike in his last time up. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing, and that one's hit on the ground. Throws the first side is retired. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rest you. The White Sox still hoping to put something up. And the first baseman in. Hit a home run in his last at bat. And the first pitch. Lined foul towards third. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. One away. We almost got burned on this one. They shifted the operator to the left, like the percentages say. He hit the ball to right with the defense. They able to run it down and pull it in. Now we're down the plate. He's one for one so far. Here's the delivery. And Howard, he got good wood on it. Come on, a home run. And the bat speaking again. Another big fly, another run in a five-run game. third home run in this game off this pitcher so they're starting to figure something out he can't be in there much longer let's see if we see some inside stuff coming up here well Yankees continuing to score here Gary credit the offensive charge the first pitch. Oh. He fouls that one off. 
And Steve, they're starting to run away here, even though it's early in the ball game. Uh, the offense putting real pressure on the pitcher. Well, taking advantage of the mistakes by the pitching staff and capitalizing on it. And when they get back out there, they need their pitcher to put up zeros. Here's the pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And now it's two away. Second base. Number 42, Jerry Coleman. And here we've got Coleman to hit. See if he's getting balls or strikes here. Let's take a look. Well, we tell pitchers all the time, work ahead in the count. It changes the at-bat and proof here. 0-1 oh, count, and he's gotten five guys out today. Here's the first pitch. It's all in one as he swings and misses at that fastball. Gary, he gets a little over anxious at the plate when the count goes to 0 and 1. So look for them maybe to expand the strike zone and get him to chase something. Take something off that time in control with the count now 0 and 2. Well, you talk about a big rip at such a slow pitch comes up empty. Swing and a drive deep left center. And there's the third up. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. The Yankees out in front by five. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And the first pitch hit in the air to left center. They take care of that one. And as a hitter, you see the outfielders going around the right field. You have to think to yourself, if I can only hit it to left. He got it there, but it didn't quite fall in. And the right fielder batting again. He had a single in his last time up. Here's the first pitch. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Swung on. Liner to right. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one-out base hit. And Phillips is in the box. And of course, as a pitcher, you got to keep your eye on which pitches are effective on any given day and which ones aren't. Here's a look at which pitches he's thrown that have generated hits. Well, guys, you look at that four-seamer. It's been hit several times in this game. You know, that pitch has been a weak spot for him overall. But you have to be happy with what he's done going through this lineup. He's been in control, hit his spots, and still has a shutout intact. He deals. Swung on and missed, on one. Now, Gary's been doing a nice job of kind of dancing out there on the mound. He's had some base runners out there, been able to make pitches and let the defense make plays behind him. So he's done a nice job pitching out of trouble. Slider locked him up. He's behind 0-2. Well, that's an outstanding breaking ball for a strike on the inside part of the plate. It locked the hitter up. He just froze and couldn't swing at it. Foul! It's hit foul by Phillips. A shot up the middle, and that'll put Phillips on first. Now, Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Now this separates the men from the boys at the plate. 0-2 count coming up with a big base hit. you got to keep battling, and that's what he did, even though that pitch was away. Now there's center fielder at the plate. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Runners on first and second with one out. Right one. First pitch, a slider for a called strike. Let's take a look here at how he's been mixing up his pitches so far in this game. 
I mean, the one thing you notice comparing to his normal trends, he's definitely throwing that four-seamer a lot more today. And if I were to pick out a pitch I think he should use more, it would definitely be his curve. It's his best pitch, and he has great bite on that. He can start it into the zone and break it into the dirt. Hit in the air to center field. And that's going to be another hit for them. Now Good offensive back. chance here. Well, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. And starts him out here. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Oh. Throws in time to first. What a play. And they bring him home. Diving stop and a nice throw, too. I showed great range on that one. I didn't think he had any chance to get it, but they have to get it and get on his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Tremendous job. And Louis Aparicio to bat. Now they still need a lot of offense. They're getting some. What they wanted was this a little earlier in this ballgame. Well, that was a nice at-bat we just saw there, Gary. You don't have to get them all back at once. He stayed within himself. Just get a little bit at a time, and it can get you right back in the game. It's the baseball line. It's called chipping away, and that's what they're doing right here. Oh, one count as that started off with a strike. Well, just like the other team wants to tack on runs and add to their lead, you want to chip away at it, as you say. And when you do that, it gets you close, and it changes the whole aggressiveness of your club. And that one's put away to retire the side. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. The White Sox, they're not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. Bottom of the order to get things started. Ford will take his turn at the plate. He's ready to start the home half here in the fourth inning. Here's the pitch. Wins a little early that time, 0-1. You know, this is a kind of an interesting breakdown. You take a look at the pitch types that were thrown that have been hit for a base hit or better. This guy's four-seamer's been hit four times. Well, it clearly hasn't been a pretty sight for him. I mean, that pitch... Swing and a soft grounder towards second. Fox. In time for the up. For the New York game. Third base. Number 34... In the box, their third baseman. He singled and later scored in his last time up. And here's the first one. Liner towards the hole. Fox. And he throws the first in time on number two. Blake, two for two in the game. The first pitch. That's on that off-speed pitch, but can't connect 0-1. You got the hitter down in a hole. You know he struggles with sliders when he's behind in the count. You got to throw him a slider. Lined up the middle. The dive, and he's up with it. And the throws in time at first. Mercy, what a play. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. And it'll be the white side. will settle in now. These at-bats, how's he starting them? Let's take a look. Well, when you look at what he's done so far today, Gary, I mean, what he's done is throwing first pitch strikes. And what has that done for him? Well, he's gotten 10 guys out after going 0-1. Swings at that breaking ball, but misses. It's 0-1. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. That looks like a single. 
Stepping I tried to, to go down with that 0-1 pitch, one but one. it gets blasted Left right back for nine. the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Number three slot up again here. One for two in the ballgame. The pitch. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. And in there, he's two for three today. That's a great situation for Salata. First base, the four, Ron Jackson. Oh, what an absolutely great job of hitting right there. That pitch down and in, bearing in on him, and he fought it off to get that big base hit. No outs, runners at second and third. Here's the pitch to Jackson. Right, and that finds the outside corner for strike one. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. Get fouled by Jackson. And he tries to check his swing. They say he did. The appeal, though, is going to go to first. Just barely. He did hold up. He survives. Call made it first. Here's a swing and a fly ball. One away now. And had the outfield swung around to the right that time. He had a long way to go to run that one down. Up again now, the number five spot. Last time up, flew up. Here's the delivery. Hot shot towards the hole. Number 12. Throw to first, gets him in there at two down. And the run comes in. Good team offense right there. Get him on, get him over, get him in. Doesn't have to be the long ball. Out can score runs. And the first pitch. The 0-0 delivery of fastball taking first strike. Now that he's elevated his eyes looking for that high fastball, let's see if he goes back down in the zone. Here it comes. Plays off that fastball, and it's 0-2. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses. One and two. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. A swing and a foul off to the right side. He sends this one in the air towards center. And the side's retired as they head into the dugout. Well, they score once on two hits, one man left. The White Sox, they're not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. Up to the plate. And for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crook and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Mantle settles in. Homer back in the first inning. On the way. Swing and a miss for strike one. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air. And it goes foul. Got him. One away. Just drops that one in there. Good break on it. 83 miles per hour. Number eight, Yogi Terra. 
Now he helped him right there with two strikes. He gets the slider, but he chases it out of the zone for strike three. Vera at the plate. And he starts him out. Smash towards the middle. And that gets through for a base hit. A good piece of hitting right there with one out. Now let's see what they can do with him now that they've got a man on first. And the first baseman in. He homered earlier in the ball game. Here's the pitch. He swings now and really hit that. Two down. And that'll hold the runner at first. Oh, he got a pitch to hit right there, but just a little bit out in front. Sends an easy fly ball to center field for the out. Howard at the plate. He homered back in the third. Two outs and a man on first. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Well, against this guy in this situation, Gary, you've got to go with the changeup. Smack that one. Long fly ball, but it's a foul to the left. Head up the middle, and he gets it down. That's his third hit, three for three. That's a great situation for Samantha. He's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. And the number seven batter in the box. Blew up last time. First pitch to him. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And that's out number three. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. The Yankees five, White Sox two. Ladder third of the lineup coming up. And Phillips is in the box. He's ready to start out here in the sixth inning. Here's the first pitch. And he starts him off with a strike on the inside part of the plate. Well, I have to go out of the strike zone here on the 0-1 count. He tends to be very aggressive here. See if you can't get him to chase. Pitch on the way. Swung on a fly ball down the left field line. That one gets down for a base hit. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. Now you talk about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. And the number eight spot rolls around. He singled in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. One away. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. Pitcher number 19. And their pitcher up again. I think with one out here, Steve, we might see him bunt. Well, with the pitcher coming up, I think you have to expect they're going to sacrifice him over. One down, runner at first. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. And he lays one down here. Played by Howard. Out. On to first. That's out number two. 
Now, to be a successful pitcher, you have to be able to pitch and field your position, but you also have to handle the bat, and that's what he did right there. Now, that number nine spot, Steve, a lot of people say that's just a waste. That's an automatic out. That's how you take and get something out of it. That's how you help yourself when you're the pitcher. Uh, Paricio up now. But Gary, he struggles with runners on base, so look for them to go right at him at the plate now. The pitch. First pitch is a slider in there on one. Well, that's a great pitch. When you get it to break low in the zone like that with that kind of movement, awfully tough on the hitter. And here's the pitch. Keeps it down that time. 0 and 2. And it's fouled off. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. Fastball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 count. At the belt, here's the 2-2 pitch. Line towards third and foul. Swung on and fouled away. Well, he's doing everything he can to stay alive on this 2-2 count. A nice defensive swing. Make sure he just got enough of the bat on it. Hits it foul. Now let's see where it goes from here. Oh, man, there's the big bender. Struck him outside, retired. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. The Yankees maintaining their advantage. Oh, batting. And here we've got Coleman to hit. He flew out his last time up. Gary. Coleman. Here's the pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And he makes the catch one down. Now this shortstop makes it look easy, but there's nothing easy about that. Those hard line drives often are like knuckleballs coming at him, but he made the play. Ford will take his turn at the plate. Grounded out his last time up. Hi. Number six will be the pinch hitter. Well, not hard to understand this one, Gary. You're going to bring in the pinch hitter for the pitcher. Hopefully the guy who can come up with a big hit. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. He catches that, and that's out number two. Well, this is why he swings the outfielders around to right field. That's where his strength is. That's where he hits it. That's where he did hit it. It's an out. And it rolls around to the top again. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. And here's the first one. Swing and a liner to right center. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game in his fourth play of Well, oh, I love being able to get hits for two outs. Even if there's no one on base, you don't drive in any runs. What it does is, though, it prolongs the inning, and it makes the opposing pitcher work harder and can possibly get him out of the game earlier. Bauer at the plate. Ground out victim last time through. First pitch on the way. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. Around third, he's going to try for it. And he gets there all the way from the first. A big two-out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man doing what he has to do to help his team win. In the 
the batter's box. And the offense here is putting on the show right now. They're in charge of this ball game. You know, after giving up runs like that, this is where the pitcher has to bow his neck and shut down the opponent. Damage control. This is where you uh, begin to wonder whether this game is going to start slipping away or not. Now the first pitch. Lined hard down the left field line. And another hit back to back. This one finds its way around. Rolling all the way to the wall. The run scored. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence. Giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. Vera at the plate. Well, uh, they had to go to the bullpen much earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from them. Well, they definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. Ball is blasted, a long high drive, deep to center field, and goodbye, home run, and the Yankees have extended the lead. Now with that two-run homer, they extend that lead to seven. There's not a lot of guys playing today that can hit one that far and straight away center field. Williams once asked McGuire, do you smell it burning when you do that? I think there was some uh, wood burning on that one. Now, well, this Yankee power is showing itself here in this game, Gary. Now they're up for 14 big. the first one. There's a swing and a ball hit well. Deep straightaway center field back. And goodbye home run. And the Yankees have extended the lead. Sometimes the offense just explodes all game long and that's what's going on here. Another one and a huge lead. Back-to-back -back shots right there, and certainly the offense coming to life, Gary. Well, this pitcher's got to figure this out, or he's going to be gone in a hurry. Well, they got to get somebody warm. Now, well, this is a pitcher's worst nightmare right here. Throwing it and having it crushed every single time it's over the plate. Here's the delivery. Howard grounds it. Aparicio. Throws on the first side is retired. Not before they tally five times thanks to two home runs in the inning. You could say the Yankees are on a roll here and it doesn't look like they're going to be catchable. It'll be batters two through four do up next. scored his last time around. Hi. And doing the pitching, we'll watch Ryan Cook as the Yankees turn to him in relief. Back up the middle. Oh, man, that hit the pitcher. Over to first for out number one. But a quick recovery that time gets the out. In the box again, their left fielder. Had a double his last time up. Just misses one and all. 
Well, Gary, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. Hit sharply towards the hole. Now, two down here in the inning. Chicago White Sox. First base. Four. It's going to be Jackson now. Last time up, flew up. In there for a strike. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. Oh, that misses for a ball. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. A oh, one-one delivery of curve in there. Now it's one and two. Gary, he's a very aggressive hitter on a 1-2 count. He's going to swing at that borderline pitch, so I'm going to try to expand the strike zone right here. Line drive fouled off oh. towards first. Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning, nothing across. The Yankees maintaining their advantage. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. Their shortstop in the box. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. Here's the first pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. One away. They had the outfield swung around to right that time. They had a long way to go to run that ball down. Gary Coleman. And here we've got Coleman to hit. Oh, for three to this point. The pitch. Swung on, hit softly towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Number 30. And their pitcher at the plate now. second and he throws on to first that'll retire the side now that's one way to keep your pitch count down they wrap that inning up with three pitches the Yankees 10 White Sox 2 catcher up to the plate grounded out his last time three Is a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Uh, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so they, they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Hit sharply towards the hole. Oh, and he's okay. out at first. What an out! You knew we were going to say hot corner on this place. <laughs> There's no question about it. You've got to be scared sometimes down there with the way the ball gets on you. Great reactions and then the accurate throw from his knees. Six slide up at the plate again. Two for three thus far. Is that one up there called strike one. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Ball one. Looks at a ball, one and one. 
Well, and you wonder why a catcher wears such a big glove to catch a knuckleball. Well, there's why. That one stays down in the zone. He had to go get it. Hit on the ground towards second. Coleman. He's in out. time for the out. For the Chicago White Sox. Third baseman. Number five. Bubba Phillips. And Phillips is in the box. He's a perfect three for three in the ball game. And that's too low. One and oh. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdowns there. You only need four outs left to win this ball game. One oh is a fastball that runs away. Two and oh. Ball Big curveball right there, and he just missed with it. Runs it down three and oh. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. Swung on and ripped towards second. And it gets down. Hit after hit. They just keep on coming. He's got four today. Well, they just can't figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. Now their rookie center fielder. Flew out last time. Here it comes. Strike That's up the knees for a called strike. That's a good hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. This one's oh. grounded foul wide of first. You're the out. slider swung out of this, struck it out, side gone. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. Now the Yankees. This is the bottom half of the eighth. For the New York Yankees. In the box, their third baseman. He'll get us started as we go to the bottom half of the eighth inning. First pitch to him. There's a swing. Fly ball down the line and left. Play is made for the New York Yankees. Right fielder, number nine. Bauer at the plate. Bauer. Double homer run in his last at bat. Boy, he scorched that one. That was right over the mound. On the first to win. Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he's set down. Mantle gets a shot here. Homered back in the first inning. Here's the pitch. He swings and drives this one. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Amazingly fast inning. Uh, outs here coming quickly. Free pitcher. And it'll be the White Sox. Coming to bat with the Chicago White Sox. It's McDonald at Blake. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. That one's fouled back out of play behind home. Ball. One is going to miss low for a ball one and one. Well, I think right now offensively you've got to start getting base runners get as many as you can. I mean you're down a ton so you don't need big hits you don't need home runs you need base runners. Swinging an easy ground ball to short number 12. And that's one away. Honestly, uh, you know, win a big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. And Louis Aparicio to bat. 
He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Too low on that one for a ball. 1-0. And that's off the plate. Away. Ball two. Looping curve. Dips low. 3-0. Fastball, that's over for a strike. Three and one. The pitcher really rearing back and throwing. He's got everything working now, commanding the strike zone with that fastball. Oh, that misses ball four. Now we're going to see if we'll get some motion on the base pass. Good eye by the hitter there. Laying off that low ball, understanding below the knees. Take it. And Fox will settle in now. He's had one hit four times up. And he starts him out slowly down the third baseline and foul. Swing and a miss at that fastball. No balls, two strikes. Well, he doesn't like to mess around. You get 0 2 on him, he's coming at you with the fastball. Hit hard on the ground to short. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Left fielder. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. One out with runners at first and second. And the first pitch. Smacked that one. He got it right up the nope. middle. And he throws on to second for the first yes, one of play. The Yankees take this one in easy fashion today, Gary. As we present our Player of the Game Award. Well, you get on one of these hot streaks, Gary, and all you can do is sit back and watch. It, it, and, and it's an incredible show when it's happening. Spraying the ball all over the field. One just happened to leave the ballpark. That's why he's the Player of the Game. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Uh, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.